going on here tonight? So this is the fence, the fence that has blighted this area for months, all stacked up, ready to be shipped out, finally. And let's go for a walk where we have not walked in months, next to the office building, the Eisenhower's office building, it used to be the executive, old executive office building. So this used to be OEOB, now it's EEOB in a city that loves its acronyms. And the red one across the street is NEOB, New Executive Office Building. So all the staff are now walking up and down this sidewalk like it used to be. Rather than having to come into like a controlled entrance point, they could just go to the doors, which are of course controlled entrance points. <laughs> but it does seem a bit more normal. Let's get down here. Now, things down here aren't exactly the same. The road is closed, but that might just be a one-off kind of thing. I mean, there's really no point in having a chain link type fence when your mission is to stop a car. I still do have a bit of fence here which has like barriers already. That's Pennsylvania Avenue in front of the White House. It's all closed still. Renwick Gallery is closed, but that's due to COVID. And NEOB is open now. This is the same kind of fence we saw at the uh, Capitol. The same T structure. Now let's go over here. So these fences are all down. But then we get to Lafayette Park. <laughs> and there the situation isn't quite as clear. That's where I was last night filming. Lafayette Park, which is just north of the White House. So over here, I drove by earlier and they still had the crews. There are still fences here at Lafayette Park. Now, these are not the same fences that were here last night. It looks like they replaced some of them, <laughs> which would match up with what the guys had told me last night, that they weren't, they were removing the old fences but putting in a new one. So oh, there's the police activity up ahead. Now this is the same. So these are the reinforced. We saw these the other day. But down up ahead is where they replaced the bigger, they replaced the big sections of fence with now these little modular units, it looks like. I think you can shoot through there a little easier. Making a video. My OCD is struggling here because this is the most crooked line ever made. <laughs> it's like, come on guys. Oh, they're actually mowing the lawn. That would indicate that they expect us to go out there. Maybe. The gate. This gate was here before. And we get into this. So it doesn't look like Things have changed all that much here. These fences are a bit small. We have bigger gaps now to shoot through. See? So now, now I can actually put my hand uh, through the gate and give you a little bit better picture. But the fence is still up. 
there is still a fence. Lots of lawn mowing today. Lots of lawn mowing. These guys are still working. Hey, who what is it? Long Fence Company. <laughs> they did a good job. They got a good bonus this year. So this is all new fence. It was, it's just basically the old fence replaced with a new type. Fencing by Long Fence Company. Must be like an affiliate or something. Now they did open up this statue. Now that's kind of cool. The statue of the Polish war general who helped the United States during the revolution. You can now access it. I wonder if they opened any other statues. Let's see. So that was the section of the park that was open prior, but they did push back the fence a little bit so that we could uh, get to the statue. I don't know, maybe the, maybe the Polish prime minister is coming to visit or something. What are these guys doing? These guys are arduously struggling. <laughs> so Long Fence has some big trucks too. Man, these guys have worked all night long. Hopefully we'll have a park soon. Alrighty, and Dolly Madison's house still locked up, but I think they're actually renovating that. So those look like renovation fences rather than riot fences. So we now have a statue. Pazuka. He's now free. Announce his name. But uh, General Thaddeus Koskono, oh, I can't pronounce it. I'm really bad. They're putting up. Huh, now they're positioning these little barriers all through the park. And they are putting in mini barricades back here. It doesn't look like they're going to give us access to the park anytime soon. Treasury now. Look at all these leaves. Where's that barrier coming from? Don't drop it. <laughs> he dropped it. It must weigh a ton. Oh, geez. Doo -doo. Okay, so now we're on 15th Street over by the Department of the Treasury, which has also been sealed up for quite some time. This bank across the street is getting renovated. This is unrelated to the government, as far as I can tell, as this building, I think, is privately owned. It was privately owned for a long time. But banks change names so many times, you never know who owns what. We still have the fence here at the road, of course, but uh, the fence around Treasury is gone, which is a nice change. You can now actually see the side of the Treasury. This is on the back of a $10 bill. So if you have a $10 bill, take a look at the back side of a $10 bill, and that's what you're looking at, is this view right here. We'll show you that better once we actually can get on Pennsylvania Avenue. So they were busy last night. They worked this whole block, taking down all these fences while we were it's kind of sus. Well, these guys are still working down here. They're not done yet. And they had a long night. Uh, so, 
Yep, they are not done yet. So that was the work crew, and they're uh, taking a break. They've been working all night. I saw them here last night about 9 o'clock. About 9 p.m. last night is when I saw the work crews arrive. It's now about 9 in the morning. So they got some overtime, I hope. You know, there is a straight line. That wall is a straight line. You would think if you were setting up fences and you needed to make it in a straight line, you could use that as a guide <laughs> instead of just, just eyeballing the thing. Yeah, it looks straight here, whatever. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just me. I wasn't very good at geometry, so. Okay, so yeah, we can cut through the park. Now, the park's been open for a while. On again, off again, and access at this moment is is off again, it looks like. At least through this entrance. Ugh, which means I've got to walk all the way around the park. Hang on a second. Da -da, da -da -da. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you know I don't feel like walking this. Follow the traffic laws, wear helmets, stay off the side. Da, 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 da. Okay. We're good, we're good, we're good. The problem with the lime. Yeah, I know. I would like some speed, please. There we go. Ugh. You have to sort of kickstart them to get going. So this is Constitution Avenue, and that of course is the Washington Monument, or the Big Stick as my kids call it, the Big Stick. And the White House itself is over here on the right. There we go. Wow, it's gone out. It's gone like all the way across now. These are the old guard houses. There's four of these, I'm told. I'm actually not even sure where the all four are. I know there's this one and one on the other side. Most people just blow by them. They don't even recall them being here. So now we're on 17th Street and making our way up the road. Now the president has already gone out this morning. The president and the first lady went to an outpatient clinic over at George Washington University for a, a little checkup kind of thing for the first lady. They didn't release any details, of course. It's kind of a personal matter. But they were out there this morning at about 7 a.m. And he's already returned. Uh, he's going out to Arlington Cemetery today after announcing uh, our policy for Afghanistan. Now that's going to be at two o'clock and then the president is going to go to Arlington and pay his respects, I assume, to some of the soldiers who died in Afghanistan. But I'm not exactly sure what section he's visiting in, in Arlington. We'll see what we can cover over there. Oh, lots of cops up here. We better slow down. So guys, that's what it looks like this morning. The fences are down around the office buildings, but they're still up in the park, and that's kind of what I really wanted them to remove because I'd like to get you closer to the White House so you can see what it looks like from Pennsylvania Avenue. Just going to have to wait a little bit longer. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to upload it. I'm going to go out a little bit later today just for a pleasant country walk, and maybe we'll film it, maybe we won't. We'll see. All right, see you soon. Bye-bye.